Hi, I'm Denise Meets and I would like to welcome you to this painting episode by We Love Art. Without any painting experience, you are able to step in the shoes of the real masters, get creative and recreate art that everyone will recognize. And this all while being in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> So for this episode, I wanted to stay close to my roots and start with one of the big masters of art history, the Dutch Vincent van Gogh with the Starry Night. If I mention van Gogh, probably the first thing that comes to mind is the ear incident with fellow painter Gauguin. Whether he cut off his own ear or Gauguin did it in a fight between them, that's still a debate. So for today, we're going to recreate this famous beauty. I have split up the painting in seven easy stages, which hopefully makes it easy for you to follow along and paint something you're going to be very proud of. So I tell you what, let's grab your brushes and paint along with me. I always start with the background first, in this case the base layer of the blue sky. I'll take a big brush because there are no details yet, so it's just applying some nice and easy paint. It's very easy. It's probably the best way to kind of warm up those painting muscles. So let's go. I'll take a bit of white, some blue, and a little bit of green. On purpose, I'm not going to pre-blend this on my palette, but I'm just going to apply it straight away onto my canvas. This way, the color kind of naturally blends in, and I kind of like the surprise effect of not having everything blended here, but just applying it nice and in good smooth lines onto the canvas. So let's have a look. All right, good. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the color, so I'm gonna do it again. So I think the biggest tip throughout this painting is to paint quite thick. The thicker you paint, the easier it gets for you. So your brush can kind of easily and freely move, move over the canvas. Um, and for, for everything in this, in this painting, it's gonna be the easiest way. Perfect, just like this. Fine if you go slightly over these lines here. Here we have a uh, here we have a star, so you can go slightly over these lines. Rather go slightly over the lines than that you stay away from the lines. So what I'm going to do, I also paint the, the sides and the top and the bottom of the canvas, depending on the color what I use basically. So in this case, we're just going to wrap the canvas in with the same color. We bring it to the sides and we bring it to the bottom, uh, to the top, sorry. We don't do the side here yet because of course we haven't painted this, this part of the canvas yet. So we only fill it wherever we have painted it. The last little thing, the last little thing, let's just spend like two seconds on the outlines, on the edges, and then it looks great on every angle. And your painting is ready to hang on the wall. Very good job, everyone. <laughs> 